Hello and welcome to FSS 2201 Food Sanitation and Safety. My name is Chef Paul Ashman and uh, welcome to the class. Um, for many of you I know this may be your first online class you've ever taken. I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible and I'm here to help you succeed. So let's get started. This is the landing page and I'm showing this in a student view so this is pretty much just what your home page for food sanitation and safety should look like. You will notice in under course announcements I will be putting up quite a bit of information there. Please make sure to um, log into this class at least twice a week. Um, that will save you from any heartache. Um, many students just get behind and they get behind by just forgetting to log in. So make sure to log in, check your email, you'll do fine. Let's start with the syllabus. If you'll click on syllabus open it up and this is it course syllabus for sanitation and safety spring 2013 it's a web class there is no class time there's class location as web and it's a two credit hour class this is me Paul Ashman CEPC it stands for certified executive pastry chef I'm an assistant professor here and I'm the coordinator for the culinary department you will um, also know that uh, my office location has changed. I'll be updating that. My telephone number is the same, 769-1551, extension 5852, and my email is the same there. I will have some Monday virtual hours, and I'll be in my office pretty much every afternoon other than that. There are no prerequisites for this class, though it is... Uh, though. Uh, this class is a co-requisite for another class, uh, <coughs> but this class may be taken on its own. The textbook is the Serve Safe course book, 5th edition, though you may use an earlier edition. Um, I believe 6th edition is out also, maybe what they have in the bookstore. Let me know. I do not mind if you buy used books and use a used book for this class. It's not a problem. No other supplemental text. We're going to develop an understanding of basic principles and then I'm going to let you read over um, the course objectives and the learning outcomes. Um, what I do want to talk about, method of instruction, this is distance education. Student will perform prescribed work at their own pace while meeting guidelines and deadlines that I set. A lot of research in this class. Our library has a great source of culinary books. All right, this is the important stuff, grading. There will be four progress tests in this class approximately once each month, two projects, and then a final. I will tell you right now that if you take the four tests uh, on time and turn in the projects, you will be exempt from the final exam. That's my little gift to try to get people to take the tests on time. There will be no makeups, no makeup exams, anything that is late. Uh, you need to can, uh, talk with me about late stuff. Typically, I uh, have a test window of 48 hours. By that I mean that I open the test up and leave it open for 48 hours for you to take um, during that time. Um, if you have a serious issue traveling or something, you need to get with me and talk to me before the test time, not after. Okay. Um, class assignments, course requirements, you can read all that. Disability Act, attendance, that's not a problem with this class. I do want to talk to you further down here about projects. There are two student projects for this class. I don't even want you to look at them right now. Don't even worry about them. We'll talk about them later in the semester. One of them is a restaurant inspection, and the other one is a HACCP project. Um, so don't even worry about that. We'll come back to it. There is a tentative schedule. Basically, about every four weeks, you're going to have a test. The nice thing about it is, before the tests are open, I will open practice exams. I'll probably open them this week for all four exams and you can practice the exams until you know it inside and out and uh, please do that the practice tests I put there just for you to help you succeed in this class so that's pretty much the um, uh, syllabus the projects are not going to be due until April so I don't even want you worrying about them right now unless you're a super type A person that has to get it done then just give me a call alright let's go back to the um, class you're going to notice a few other things course mail you're going to be able to can um, this is the quick way to email me back and forth here and you'll get email from me in here um, you'll also notice a few odds and ends on the front course announcements you'll be seeing a lot from me there grades you'll be able to update and find out what your grades are and then you'll be able to see what kind of activity you've got going on um, for your um, as far as uh, messages and logins <laughs> 
pardon me. So we're going to go back here and we're going to go back to course and we're going to look up under lessons. This is pretty much where everything's going to happen under the lessons tab. The first thing I need you to do this week is go to introduce yourself plus best and worst. This is what's called a message board post. You're going to do a number of these for me. Um, welcome to Food Service Sanitation. For this post, post, please introduce yourself. Then write about the cleanest and dirtiest restaurant you've ever been to. Posts are due by midnight the 13th. That's a week. That's next Sunday. And you also must reply to two other classmates. Title your post as last name, dot, first name, and introduction. And it's pretty simple. Click on new post. Put your name in. And then write to your heart's content there. When you get done, you hit submit. And then you are, um, you'll be able to uh, see your post. And then you'll also be able to reply. Once you read somebody else's post, you'll be able to reply to it. Pretty simple. Let's go back to lessons. Class schedule. I don't have anything in there yet. Course documents. This is where you will find an introduction, sample projects, a PowerPoint, and the inspection form, which is a PDF document that you'll be able to basically open up and this is the state of Florida's inspection form. I don't want you worrying about it right now. We'll talk about it later just to let you know that the uh, syllabus says they're in my office. They're actually right here online. They're much easier to find there. So let's go back to, to lessons. You'll also notice that I have um, assignments. And uh, I'll let you be able to, um, um, I'll, we'll have places for you to put your projects. Don't worry about that right now. Back to lessons. Practice chapter quizzes. These are not submitted. These are just for you, for your own good. Um, you may take them if you like. You don't have to. Practice sample tests. These are each. This is a, a an example of each test. And you may take them as many times as you like um, to help you get ready for your regular tests. Um, and then the test, when I have the tests ready, I'll open them up. These won't be visible to you, but I'll, when tests are open, I'll open them up and have them ready. Faculty information, don't have anything in yet. And we'll talk about food poisoning and household cleaners further in the semester. All I really want you to worry about, make sure you look over the syllabus and do this first message board post. Let's go back to the home page. Let me get back to... I'm here to help you. Um, really, if you have any problems with the class, if you have any questions, please just come and see me. Um,